Welcome back to TEC Tube. I'm Vince Sylvester and today I have Ryan Hoger with me and we're going to be going over the core thermostat or the Bryant Housewives, whichever flavor you prefer. So here we are at the wall. We have the back plate mounted already on the wall um, and we already have the wires terminated. If you're not sure how to do that, refer back to one of our previous videos on how to wire a basic thermostat. Uh, this one's nice because it's got the level in there so we did a good job keeping this thing flush. We'll put the thermostat on now. It'll give a second, it'll power up either with a carrier or Bryant logo depending on which version you are installing. All right, so here we are at the first screen where it says welcome to the setup. It also refers you to the website where you can set things up online later. In this case, bryant.com slash myhome or in the other case, it'd be carrier.com slash myhome. I'm gonna hit next. And to give me a checklist of all the things that we're actually gonna work on. Equipment configuration, preferences, our network connection, and then actually linking, linking it up to the web portal and the apps. So I'll press next. So the first thing it's asking me is if I have an RH only or an RC and an RH. You probably saw previously I only had an RH. That would be the most common setup. The only time you probably would deviate from that is if you had a boiler matched up with a cooling fan coil and they both had separate transformers, then you'd have two separate R's, two separate HOTs. But for normal systems, furnace and AC, RH only. So it's already correct there. I'm gonna hit next. So it actually detects which wires I have terminated on the stat. In this case, it's telling me that I have W1, Y1, R, C, and G. If that's not correct, that probably means I did not wire something correctly or one of the wires is not seated properly under the terminal and I wanna take it back off the wall and fix that. In some cases, you may need to override this and manually select the wiring that you have for example, if you were using this in conjunction with a Ventstar add a wire kit, you would have to come in here and press override. It would ask you if you know what you're doing, and even though I don't, I will say yes. And then I can go through this again, and I can manually tell it which wires I have by clicking on them. All right, so for today, I don't need to do that, but if I had a special application, I would. So I'm going to go back to the original configuration. All right, so there's my wires. They are correct. If something's missing, it'll also tell me that. For example, if I choose a Y wire, but there's no G termination, it'll say, really, you have cooling, but you don't have a fan blower? Hmm, maybe you should check that out. So today we look good, we have a single stage heating and cooling system, so I'll press next. It asks me if I have any accessories installed on this system. I don't in this particular case, but I'm gonna lie and pretend that I do and tell it I have a humidifier just so we can look at those screens later on. So yes, I have an accessory, so I'll hit next. It'll ask me if my accessory is powered from internal to the accessory or external. So we'll take a look at the wiring diagram here and we'll talk about that. There's two different ways that we could wire up this accessory. An accessory can be a humidifier, dehumidifier, or a ventilator. In our case, it was a humidifier. And the choices on how I'm gonna wire it depend on whether the power for the humidifier is coming from a transformer internal to the humidifier or whether the power is coming from the transformer inside the furnace. In this particular example on the screen that I'm showing right now, you can see over here on the accessory device, humidifier in our case, the 24 volt transformer is inside the humidifier and there's a separate 24 volt transformer at the furnace. For that particular wiring configuration, I need to pull two wires from the humidifier back to the thermostat itself and I will terminate them on ACC plus and ACC minus and then this relay inside the thermostat becomes a dry contact, simply making the electrical connection for that 24 volts. On the thermostat, I will answer the question on the left-hand side here with a no. Is the accessory control power the same as the thermostat? No, it is not. It has its own transformer, so I'll click no, and then I'll hit next. The second wiring choice would be for a humidifier or other accessory device that does not have its own 24-volt control circuit. Therefore, it needs 24 volts from the furnace itself. Even then, there's still two different ways we could wire that. The first of which we're showing right here um, from the humidifier, we can have two wires leaving and coming back to the thermostat. In that case, we'll wire to ACC plus again, but instead of wiring to ACC minus, we'll go to the common instead. That'll allow 24 volts to flow from the furnace through the thermostat, through the humidifier circuit, and back to the thermostat. So we can do it that way, and in that case, we would answer yes to this question. Is the accessory control power the same as the thermostat? Alternately, if we want, we don't have to run two wires from the humidifier back to the thermostat. We could just run the ACC plus back to the thermostat, and then for the common side of the humidifier, we could go to the common on the furnace circuit board. 
since that common is already tied to the common on the thermostat anyway. So I can basically pull one wire to the thermostat instead of two, even though this particular drawing shows two. So for today's purposes, it doesn't matter which one I pick because I don't have an actual humidifier, but you get the idea. So today I'll pick yes, hit next. It'll ask me if I have a humidifier, a dehumidifier, or a ventilator system. In my case, I'll pick humidifier. I'll hit next. So it gives me a little confirmation of what I have. In this case, single stage heat, single stage furnace, and a humidifier. So I'll press next. Um, then it'll ask me for the next step here um, to go into the preference settings. Press next. What do you want to call the thermostat? Generally, you just leave it at my home and that's totally fine. Or you can custom name it, right? So I can scroll down here and pick one of these other names. Or I can go all the way to the bottom and say enter my own name and it'll give me a keyboard. I can call it whatever I want. All right? Most people just pick my home unless they have more than one of these thermostats. Fahrenheit or Celsius, next. Desired temperatures for winter and summer, the defaults are 68 and 76. That's probably fine for most of your customers. They can adjust the sub points whenever they want, but as a starting point, that's probably a pretty good place to start. You can make them a little tighter if you want to. The wider apart they are, the more energy you'll actually save, obviously. So if you want to make them tighter, make them 70 and 74 or whatever, you can do that. So equipment's configured, our basic preferences are set. Now it's gonna ask us to set up the network connection. We'll press next. Would you like to set up Wi-Fi now? Yes, I would. It's gonna pull up all the Wi-Fi networks in this general area. So I'll pick one of the ones that I have available to me here today. So I'll pick this guest one here at our building. And I'll put the password in. All right, so now we are connected to the guest Wi-Fi network here at our building. I'm gonna hit next. All right, it's going to ask me what country I'm in, obviously the United States in this case. What time zone I want, so I'm going to scroll down to Chicago. Hit next. Now it'll automatically do the time for me. I don't have to set the clock. It's on Wi-Fi. It knows my time zone. It's good to go. Daylight savings automatic and all that stuff. So we've completed the first three steps. The next step on here is to link it up to the website portal. So we'll press next. Would you like to register your thermostat with the web portal? Yes. So it tells me once again to go to bryant.com slash my home or carrier.com slash my home in, in the case of that particular stat and or open up your mobile app for one of these two products uh, and you can click on registering your thermostat and it'll give us a four digit code to do that. All right, in this case our code is AHS8. All right, we'll go to the web portal, we'll log into our account that we just created on the, on the web portal itself and we'll punch this code in and now it'll bind this stat to that account so now it always belongs to me. First thing we're going to do is go ahead and open up a web browser and we are going to go to either www.carrier.com slash my home or www.bryant.com slash my home. I'm going to go to the carrier one today. So it brings up this site for us right here that shows the different thermostats that we can set up and log into. For a new thermostat you're going to hit register and then you'll be able to register that new stat by beginning with that display code that we talked about. I'm not gonna do that today because I don't need another, uh, another account, I already have one. So I'm gonna close that, and in my case, I'm gonna log into my existing account. So I'm logged into that particular account, and then I'm gonna go ahead and click on the menu over here and uh, add a thermostat to my existing account. And then I'm back to the same screen you just saw. So in there, I will put the four digit code and say next. Um, would you like to set up the uh, weather data? And I would say yes in this case. Want to find my location automatically? Sure, I don't know if I have GPS turned on, but it did, okay, found that. So that's where I'm at physically at, at our North Aurora building right now. So I'll hit next. Uh, I would like to add my home details. I will say yes to that. Um, now this is not a house in my case, it's just in, in our training lab. So I'm just going to make something up for right now. I'm just say it's a single floor, uh, simple condo building. You notice all the choices on here are residentially orientated. It does not have the ability to compare your energy usage to commercial buildings. Uh, this is a residential type thermostat, so it'll help you compare your energy usage for a house or condo of the same size and geographic location as yours. And I don't know the age of this building, so I'm just gonna guess on it and I'll pick it for right now. I'll say next. My thermostat is now ready for access. Start using the web portal. 
great. And now it's added to my list of thermostats here. And I can go ahead and close my web browser, and then I could head on over back to my thermostat and can finish configuring that. So I'm going to hit next in this case, and then I'm going to hit next again. And it says completed my process. And I'm going to hit done. All right. And now we're back into the regular stat. Ryan, thank you so much for properly showing us how to install the Bryant Housewife stat and the Carrier Core stat. Yeah, Vince, there's actually a lot of advanced features in this stat as well. And in the next video, we'll show you how to set those up. I can hardly wait. <laughs> Me neither. Thanks again for showing up.